It is Sunday and I always do my meal prep in the morning. You guys know that about me. Today I'm actually gonna be meal prepping a lot. It's literally like, yeah, it's 9 a.m., 9.30. So I like meal prepping in the morning just because I'm like, listen, I don't wanna be cooking later on in the afternoon on a Sunday. Like I actually want to get to relax today. So I'm gonna get all my cooking done today and then when it's time to actually eat later, I just warm it up. I love meal prepping. It keeps me so on track with weight loss because I have my food already prepped and I know I can make good decisions. I don't have to order out. It also is just the ultimate mom hack because I am a stay-at-home mom, but I also work from home. So I'm literally working while taking care of Kylo at the same time throughout the week, which can honestly get so overwhelming and it can be really hard or just is really hard all the time, to be honest. So I think what I'm gonna make for this week is tacos. The best thing about making tacos is I'm also gonna make rice because if I make the rice, then I can switch up the meals throughout the week. So I don't have to have tacos, which by the way, when I meal prep, I don't meal prep for like five or six days. One, I don't even know if that's fully safe. I don't think it is, you know? I prefer to like only eat leftovers like for three days, max four days, which ends up being perfect because I do the bulk of my work in the beginning of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is like my busiest days. So all this food will last me and my husband and Kylo for the next three days. So yeah, I'm also gonna make some rice because I can take the meal and repurpose it. I don't have to have tacos. I can also have a burrito bowl out of it and I can also have the burritos because you can put the rice in the burritos. Kylo also loves rice. So um, he's obviously not gonna like eat an actual taco. So me making rice is perfect because he's gonna be able to eat the chicken and have it with the rice, you know? So I'm gonna make some coconut black bean rice. This rice is fire. It kind of gives me like rice and peas vibes. I love Jamaican rice and peas. It is so good. I've made rice and peas before. And if I do say so myself, I actually make some good rice and peas. Okay, I'm not saying I make the best, like most authentic, but I do make, come here Kylo, he's in the other room playing by the way, he's playing really well right now, but he does have his pacifier in because he's teething again. I literally told you guys in my last vlog that we finally got over like the his molars. Come here baby, mommy hold you. Mama pick, pick up, up, yeah. He finally uh, got over his molars, but it looks like he's teething again because um, his gums are swollen. But yeah, so. You're looking at the rice cooker. So, what was it saying? Yeah, so he's teething again, so I just gave him his pacifier. Um, otherwise, I really don't let him use his pacifier that much. He's not even addicted to it. Like, I know some babies get very attached with, I was very attached to my pacifier when I was a baby. I literally used my pacifier up until I was six. That's how bad it was. I remember coming home from school and my grandma would have my pacifier um, waiting for me on like the little entry table. So funny, but yeah, anyways, he loves his pacifier, but he's not like addicted to it. I can take it away and he doesn't freak out or anything, but it really helps him when he's teething. So anyways, that's why he's very quiet and like playing by himself um, in the other room. You guys always ask me like, how do you get so much done like with Kylo around? And honestly, it just depends. Like he's a really good independent player and just run around the house and go crazy. I baby proofed my entire main floor. So if you guys have a toddler, I highly recommend literally just baby proof everything so that you can let them run wild. And like he literally runs around the house and I don't need to be like watching him every two seconds because there's nothing dangerous around, you know? And obviously it's easier on Sundays because he'll usually go outside in the backyard with Dada, right? You like to go in the backyard with dad, dad. I shouldn't say that because he actually understands what I'm saying. So like, yes, yes you do. I love this coconut milk so much um, because it doesn't have, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but guar gum, gar gum, guar gum, I don't know, but they put a lot of gums 
in coconut milk, it's crazy, but gums are really irritating to your stomach and cause a lot of inflammation. So I try to avoid that ingredient. And I've always mentioned to you guys, I try to just get like simpler ingredients when I'm picking things. You'll see later, I'm going to use this for my tacos. Oh, this is everything. But I wanted to mention to you guys, I've used this for so long and I love it so much, but this actually has soybean oil in it, which is really like not good for us at all. Again, causes a lot of inflammation. There's a lot of studies showing that seed oils cause a lot of inflammation and gut problems. I actually usually don't get this one. I get the same brand, but the one in the glass jar. And it's actually easier because it's already blended up for you. This one is a whole pepper, so I'm gonna have to blend it up. The one in the glass jar does not have seed oils, but they were out of stock. So like you guys saw, I placed my grocery order on Instacart and the guy replaced it with this, which is fine for now. This is how I'm keeping him distracted. I gave him a scoop of ice and he likes to throw the ice on the floor and then put it back into the scoop and he just loves it and he also likes to actually eat the ice. <laughs> Kylo is playing with the one cup scoop, <laughs> so I have to use a half cup scoop, but I am doing two cups of rice. If you've never added in fresh thyme to your rice, it's everything. So I'm literally just gonna add in maybe like this much. And that's it. Such a simple rice, but so good. Rice is done. I can't wait to show it to you guys. I haven't seen it yet. I'm letting the pressure release from the Instant Pot. I have been chopping up the chicken, which is the absolute worst part. My shoulder is literally killing me. It's the worst and most tedious part is like chopping up the chicken. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, this looks good. Take a look at that. So good. If you guys don't have an Instant Pot to make rice, what are you doing? So good. And you can make so many other Meals with it too. Kylo's nap is coming up soon, so I'm gonna turn off Miss Rachel. I don't usually let him watch screen time, like have screen time for too long. It's already been like almost half an hour. I also don't really let him watch, like have screen time before his nap because I find it just like lights up his brain and then he has, doesn't take as good of a nap, you know, and or even not as long of a nap. So it's time to turn off Miss Rachel, but he's been doing this thing where, where when I try to turn off Miss Rachel, he freaks out like full on tantrum and then he's like fussy for the next 10 minutes because he just like, I guess is thinking about it and wants to put it on. So I was, I, it's funny because I actually came across a TikTok of um, someone was saying like, why do we expect kids to be okay with things we wouldn't be okay with? So just going up to the TV and shutting it off abruptly is kind of like, would you want someone to do that to you when you're watching TV? So instead like, Acknowledge, like let him acknowledge you like say hey you're watching miss rachel let's say bye to miss rachel now like you know like telling him it's time to turn off the tv and then turning it off and i was like i never thought of that like why do we just abruptly turn off the tv and then expect them not to be upset you know so yeah i'm gonna do that now wish me luck i mean he's still upset when i do that but i just feel like it's definitely a better approach you're also teaching them like that you're gonna communicate with with them, you know what I mean? You're not just gonna like abruptly like, hey, I'm the boss and we turn off your TV. It's just so like abrupt and like, it's kind of low-key rude. Like, damn, if someone turned off my TV, like I would low-key beat their ass. <laughs> I'm actually petrified to turn this off. Is anyone else actually scared of their toddler? Okay, baby. I love you. Okay, say bye-bye, Miss Rachel. So You're watching Miss Rachel. Yes, is that a heart? Say bye-bye. Thank you. So I'm making two different types of tacos. This one is gonna have like sweet peppers, beans, you guys will see it, but I like mine with chicken thighs and I also like mine with a little bit of a kick. Not too spicy, but I do like a little bit of a kick. 
So this is that chipotle and adobo sauce that I was showing you guys. I basically just blended it up. It is a little spicy. It kind of has like a kick to it. So like I said, I like mine spicy. So I add a lot to mine, like a lot, a lot. And then I just add a little bit to this one so that this is not too spicy. But I still want this to be a little saucy and just have like good flavor. So I'm just gonna add some plain tomato sauce. So that's like a good trick if you want you know, you want it to be saucy, but you don't want it to be too spicy. And the last thing is just some black pepper and I am gonna add a little bit of water because it's gonna create like a little bit of a sauce. Kind of just eyeball this to be honest with you. You don't wanna put too much water because you don't wanna like water it down. Probably like a quarter cup for the amount of chicken that I have. So both of these have already been preheating on medium heat for like a good five to seven minutes I would say. I don't want to brown the chicken too much. I don't want it to dry up all of that sauce pretty much. So you kind of want to do slightly less than medium. Look at how amazing this looks. And you can see like you have that nice like little sauce right there too. And what I like to do is when I'm warming up the tortillas, I dip the tortillas in the sauce and then like fry or bake whatever, heat up the tortillas in the pan. Oh, so, so good. So now that the chicken is pretty much almost cooked, it just needs a few more minutes. I move the chicken aside and then I'm gonna put in the sweet peppers and beans. And then I'll also add in some corn. But before I do that, I'm gonna season this up on its own as well with the same seasonings as I did before. All right, all done. These are just, these are mine right here. Just classic chicken tacos with chicken thighs. They have a little spicy kick. These actually do very well in burritos because you already have like your beans, your corn, your sweet peppers in there. And Kylo loves all of these things too. So he's just gonna have a field day later. <laughs> so now I'm making some pico de gallo and some guac to pair with the tacos. Now I'm just putting everything into containers. I cannot wait to dig into this later. So good. I didn't even make them that spicy this time, so I feel like Kylo would be okay with these. Kylo low-key likes spice. Like what one-year-old likes spice? Obviously not like a lot, but I've given him stuff that has like the tiniest kick and he likes it, so it's gonna be like his mama. Everything is meal prepped. We got two different types of chicken, guac, pico, and black bean coconut rice. So good. Mm, this is gonna be fire for tacos, bowls, burritos. And then obviously throughout the week, I can just make fresh guac. But if you add enough lime, this will actually last two to three days in the fridge without turning brown. I usually add at least one and a half lime per avocado. 